right, for review now, we have the Creepy Creek Carriage House. Now, this is an old one. I think this one came out in 1998, 1999. No. I think this one came out in uh, somewhere around 2000, if I recall. Uh, so, this one was my first building I ever acquired. And it's what got me into the Halloween series. You can see there the suggested retail price of $75. And yeah, so this was, uh, we used to have, we don't anymore, we used to have a Department 56 store in uh, the local mall, which the mall doesn't even exist anymore. We went there and my mom and sisters were getting pieces for their respective uh, Christmas villages and I did not collect anything. Um, so my mom saw this display or saw the Halloween display and thought it would be kind of cool for me to get involved uh, into the Halloween village. So she said, hey, look, why don't you look at them? Uh, pick one out. Uh, this one was I think, the only house that was displayed at that time or that they had in stock. So I said, yeah, well, you know, if you're going to buy me one, yeah, cool. Let's, uh, let's do it. So anyway, let's get into it and look and see what it looks like. So here's a look at the inside, how it's packaged. I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. All right, and now we have it all set up, ready to check out. You can see the nice orangish glow. Um, we have the light bulb turned on and the animation turned on there as well. So you can see it turned off. Okay, so as you can see there, um, we have the bats flying around. Just a pretty cool overall piece. Uh, great piece to start off my collection. Actually, this one in particular was not the first one that I acquired. This was one I bought from, or uh, I got this one from a uh, somebody's full collection. They were getting rid of all of their pieces. And so they had a few Halloween pieces that they were looking to get rid of. So I figured I'd uh, make a deal on all of them. And now I have just an extra one if I want to sell it or if I want to use it and, you know, in case any parts go missing on mine. But I'll go ahead and show you that the detail on this as well is just really great. So you can see some little flaking off of the styrofoam from being in the box, but basically your, uh, this one was a little bit old school when this one was made has the underneath lighting with the little trench dug out there and it plugs in with this extra adapter. And it's a little tricky getting it out there. So you gotta make sure that the wiring's coming out on one side and then get the bulb out on the other and it just spun on me, so. It's gonna be a problem. Let's see. We can get this to do right here. Okay. There we go. All right. So there you go. There's the bulb. And then this is plugged in for the animation. So we'll check on the underneath, that's what it looks like. Push that back up in there and you can scope out the building in full. So again, yeah, this was a cool piece to, to start it off, had a little farm scene. I kind of use it as a farmhouse. I think that's uh, pretty cool. Uh, it says Creepy Creek Carriage House is the name of it. And I think uh, it works pretty well as a farmhouse or just a house um, in a neighborhood or anything like that. So. Um, just really, really neat. The details on everything, uh, you know, Department 56 never disappoints. You can tell the, you know, the disrepair, the broken windows, the, the faded siding, the rope hanging here, which is, you know, just a super nice, um, creepy touch as well. The, uh, roof with the 
the accumulated leaves and, and everything, the, the holes in the roof. Just an overall really well done piece. All ceramic, um, except for the bats and things. But you know, the house is a full ceramic piece. Uh, how they were all done, especially back then. Uh, yeah, there you go. Got some pumpkins next to the front doors. One of them, uh, one of those doors being a little ajar there. Some wagon wheel. Uh, yeah, just overall super cool. Never noticed this. Got a side door that's kind of propped open as well. That's super cool also. So yeah, just, you know, a ton of detail you can sit here and look at forever. Um, it's just an underrepresented piece. And, you know, a lot of people have it. You can get pick these up for really cheap prices. It's not a super rare piece by any means. Um, so I'll try to drop how long they were in uh, production for, if I can find that out before... Uh, before I post this, so that I'll try to drop that in the post. But anyway, that's the Creepy Creek Carriage House, the one that started it all, at least for me. And uh, just a really cool piece to have in your collection. I now have two. So I have the original one I acquired and now this one. And so uh, just not sure what I'm gonna do with this one just yet. Probably look to, uh, to get rid of it maybe this season. Um, yeah, just... Uh, you know would be it would be cool to have extra parts but i feel like i could buy stuff on ebay if um if necessary uh the houses aren't that hard to find if it was a super rare piece maybe i keep the keep the second one just in case but but in this case i think it might be better used to uh to to sell and take whatever proceeds i can get from it and uh you know pick up a different piece a new piece that i can incorporate into my collection. So till next time, thank you all for checking it out. What do you think of the Creepy Creek Carriage House and of the original kind of first five to 10 years pieces? What are your favorite pieces to collect and display? Let me know in the comments below. See you next time.